Can I get a supervisor to the front door, please? This is a public building. Hey, ma'am, you know this is a public building. Hey, ma'am, you know this is a public building. Exactly, that's why I'm recording okay. it. It's also a court facility. Yep. Which there is a judicial law or judicial order that says that you cannot tape this building. Can I see that order? Yes. Come on in. I'll, we're gonna check your IDs too. Oh, no, I'm not going in. Oh yeah, no, no, no. We're gonna run you too. Or judicial order that says that you cannot tape this building. Can I see that order? Yes, come on in. I'll, we're going to check your IDs, too. Oh, no, I'm not going in. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. We're no. going to run you, too. No, that's all we're right. We're going to get your name. We're going to do a report and everything. So come on in. Um, right. No. No, yeah, you're going to come in now. Am I being detained? Yes. For what? Because right now we, you are doing something suspicious. That's not a reason to detain anybody. Well, it is for Dana. Come on. It's really not. Let's go so inside, I'm just going to stay here and continue recording. Okay. You're going to come in, and we're going to find out who you are and what you're doing here. No, you're not. Okay. All right, who's got cuffs? She does not want to go agreeably. Okay. I'm being detained for just taking pictures of the building. Yes, ma'am. You're doing something suspicious, and we need to know who you are and why you're doing it. Okay. Are you familiar with the First Amendment? Yes. I am. Really? Put Let's your hands go in. Back. Come on. Wow. I tried to do this nicely. All right, guys, that was just a quick little recap when they arrested Pink Camera Magic for peacefully exercising her rights. And you already seen part one of the deposition of the lieutenant, which I showed in a prior video just a few days back, where not only is he not familiar with the Miranda rights, but he can't recall a lot of stuff like when and where you can arrest or detain people. I mean, he's honestly a poor excuse for a lieutenant. Now, let's hear the deposition of the sergeant. Let's continue. Was there any reasonable suspicion that Ms. Berquist was engaged in any illegal activity? She was engaging in suspicious activity? I didn't ask you about suspicious, did I? No. What did I ask you? If she was engaging in anything illegal? I asked you if there was any reasonable suspicion. God bless you. I asked you if there was any reasonable suspicion that she was engaged in any illegal activity. By the time I got there, I'm not sure what she was doing. Did you ask Malazzo how the deposition went? I did not. You didn't talk to him at all? I saw him in the as I was walking out of the office, we walked out. He said, I'm gonna ask you a lot of questions, and that was it. Okay. Um, so uh, what have you done to prepare for this uh, deposition? Anything? Um, no, I spoke to State's Attorney Mike Gorman yesterday. Um, briefly, we did a phone conference. I don't wanna hear about that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where we were going. Did you review any documents or any video footage? I did not. Okay. Is it against the law to take pictures of a courthouse from outside? No, not that I know. Okay. Is it lawful to arrest somebody for taking pictures outside of a courthouse, of the courthouse? No, not that I know. Okay. Is there something... Sus Okay, sorry. So I gotta get every word because it's on video. Okay. Are you familiar with this case at all? Which case? The, the case that brings us here today that you're def testifying in. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but he said, are you familiar with this case? And she's like, uh, which case? Um, you're sitting here doing a deposition right now, so yeah, it's this case. Anyways, moving on. Yes. Okay, and, and in a nutshell, what's the case about? I would say that Amanda Burquist is, I guess I called you to say that she was uh, 
outside videoing when she shouldn't have been. So she's saying we violated her amendment rights. You're correct. Um, wh when you say when she shouldn't have been, what does that mean? Was she doing something wrong? Uh, just something unusual, what us as officers would consider unusual. Unusual, okay. Um, depending on where you are in the country, Mormons are unusual, right? Depending on where you are, it might be unusual to see a Mormon. Do you get to detain Mormons in those places? I don't know people detain them. Just because it's unusual? No, I don't. Okay. Is there something unlawful about recording outside of a building? I'm sorry, what was the question? Let me ask you this. Was Ms. Berquist doing anything illegal when she was detained? Um, uh, no, I would say it was not illegal. Unusual. OK. Um, in order to detain somebody, what do you have to have? Legally. I do not know the law legally. Okay. Did you have any reasonable suspicion that she was committing a crime? We had reasonable suspicion to ask her what she was doing and why she was doing it just to get who she was and why. You and I agree on that, that you had the right to ask her whatever you wanted to ask her. Did you have the right to put her in handcuffs? For the security of the officers, yes. What made her threat? Her refusing to give any information that was requested of her. Was she legally obligated to give that information? When an officer has asked her for security purposes to give her identity up, yes, we do have the right to ask for an identity of somebody for our safety. Have you ever heard of something called the Terry search or a Terry frisk? I have. Okay, what is that? Um, Sergeant. I'm not going to say exactly. I don't know. OK. Um, well, let me just ask you this. A police officer is allowed to go over to anybody they want, demand to see ID, and if they refuse, they get to arrest them? Is that your testimony? Or detain them? Can you say it one more time? I'm sorry. Sure. Police officer goes over to somebody on the street. Let's call the person Mr. Plaintiff. Okay. Police officer goes to Mr. Plaintiff and says, hey, let me see your ID. And Mr. Plaintiff says, uh, no. Is the officer now allowed to put Mr. Plaintiff in handcuffs and detain him? No object. It's a hypothetical. It calls for speculation. Yeah. You can answer. Okay. Um, I do believe, yes, for officer safety, they do have the right to then at least then do um, a pat down of the person's outer garments for their safety. Doesn't there have to be reasonable suspicion that the person committed a criminal offense or violated a law? Because I'm gonna, I, I don't know the law exactly. Now guys, keep in mind, this is not a rookie that just graduated the academy. This is a sergeant, a supervisor, someone that maybe a rookie calls when they don't have an answer. And this sergeant is not even familiar with what Raz is, reasonable articulable suspicion that you've committed a crime about to commit a crime or have committed a crime she's not familiar with when and where you can legally stop someone and search them or pat them down detain them or even arrest them and she's a sergeant i don't know am i exaggerating or is she in the wrong line of work in my opinion i think she needs to be fired it's that simple let's continue can detain if there is unusual activity. Who told you to, that? Oh, sorry, finish. OK. Um, to uh, gather information <coughs> to gather information. Um, who decides what's unusual? A reasonable person. Gotcha. What was Miss Berquist doing that was unusual? Just videoing? Once I came out there. Well, you put the handcuffs on her, didn't you? No. Were you there when she got handcuffed? I was. You helped put the handcuffs on her? 
It did not necessarily help. I was there as the other officer did it. Did you touch Ms. Kirkland at all? If I did, I don't recall. Okay. Was there any reasonable suspicion that she was committing a crime, yes or no? We weren't sure what she was doing. Okay, so if you don't know what somebody's doing, do you have reasonable suspicion that they're doing anything in particular? No, but we have a reasonable response to ask what she was doing. Right. Agreed. You could ask her what she's doing. And when she refuses to answer, are you now allowed to detain her? Yes. Who told you this? That you get to detain people who are videoing and refuse to identify themselves when asked? In this case, are you asking me per our, which are you looking towards, are you asking just for like myself or per the sheriff's office? Well, in this case, I'm assuming that Malazzo was calling the shots, right? My lieutenant was there first, yes. Your lieutenant's name is? Lieutenant Malazzo. Malazzo, right, okay. Now, I'm talking about in general. Who told you that you get to detain people if there's unusual activity to gather information, if they refuse to identify themselves. Just in general, you're in saying general. not in this case. Yeah. Was it a training? It was a, an unusual case in our courthouse. We are to stop and gather information to make sure that the situation would be secure. Right. So who told you that? Our, I would say my department. When did your department tell you this? I cannot tell you exactly. I don't know. Is it fair to say that this policy has been in effect for at least 10 years? Yes. Since 9-11? Yes. What's your rank? Sergeant. How long have you been a sergeant? I have been a sergeant. 10 years. It will just be coming up on so nine you, and a half years. How long have you been working for the Cook County uh, Sheriff's Office as a law enforcement officer of some sort in any capacity? Uh, 19 years and 10 months. What are the Miranda rights? Our Miranda rights? And I, I don't have, I would have to read them to you from a pre-written. Okay. Let me get this straight. She's been a sergeant for almost 10 years and with the sheriff department in general, almost 20 years, but she doesn't even know the basic Miranda rights? Come on now. You at some point told Ms. Burquist at the counter in the sheriff's office that she had an option to simply show ID and then she'd be on her merry way, right? I'm not sure exactly what my words were, but I do remember speaking to her, yes. You conveyed that type of offer, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, in fact, uh, I, I believe what you told her was that she's going to see the judge for recording at a courthouse, and she may or may not go home tonight. Remember saying that? I do not. Is that something you would say? No. You wouldn't say something like that, because it's not true, right? It may or may not be true. I don't make the rulings on what the judge says or what the judge does. Right. I can't tell anybody, and not allowed to even tell them. That is what the judge decides on sentencing verdicts, on anything that happens. That's not my decision. Right, but to simply show ID, and then she'd be on her merry way, right? I'm not sure exactly what my words were, but I do remember speaking to her, yes. You conveyed that type of offer, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, in fact, uh, yeah, I, I believe what you told her was that she's going to see the judge for recording at a courthouse, and she may or may not go home tonight. Remember saying that? I do not. 
Is that something you would say? No. You wouldn't say something like that? Because it's not true, right? It may or may not be true. I don't make the rulings on what the judge says or what the judge does. Right. I can't tell anybody and not allowed to even tell them. That is what the judge decides on sentencing verdicts, on anything that happens. That's not my decision. Did, didn't you tell her that she may or may not go home tonight? I do not remember that. Is that something that you would say? No. Why wouldn't you say something like that? Because as I said, it's not my decision on if she is or she, if she's not going home, it would be the judge's decision. If a judge decides to hold somebody, then they decide to hold somebody. If they say that they're free to go, they're free to go. If they set bond, I do not. Right. Also, saying something like that to somebody, you may or may not go home tonight, it's a little bullying, isn't it? I'm not sure. Well, what do you think? Do you think that sounds a little bit like a bullying tactic? I'm not sure. If you don't do what I'm saying, you may or may not go home tonight? I'm not sure. You don't think that sounds like a bullying tactic? It's been asked and answered. You don't think that's a bullying tactic? Is this bullying? Can you, like, you've, it's you been asked, I'm it's been answered. I'm bullying her? You're asking the same question over and over. It's been asked and answered. It's already been answered. What's your answer, just so we're clear for the record? You don't think this is a bullying tactic? Once more. Your objection is noted. Tell her to answer the question, please. Yeah, you can still answer. Okay, I'm not sure. This is not marked as an exhibit, but the I believe there's a bait stamp here that's S07. 334 suspicious circumstance. It's the 2018 328 Axon body two camera footage, which was provided in discovery. I'm going to play from the 215 mark. You'll vote upon court at 1.30, and then the judge will decide what he will do for you recording at a courthouse. So you may or may not go home tonight. Pausing it at 2.48. Did you hear a woman's voice just say you may or may not go home tonight? Yes. Who's, who owns that voice? Do you know? That was me. So you would say something like that? I guess I did, yes. Is there anything else that I'm going to have to show you video footage for in order to get a truthful answer? So you are basically telling her, give me your ID and identify yourself, or you're going to be in this limbo where you may not go home tonight, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, can you say it again? You were basically telling Ms. Burquist, give us your ID and identify yourself, or else you're going to go to the judge, and you may or may not go home tonight. We were requesting for her to give us an ID. And if she wouldn't, what would happen to her? That she would have to go to bond court, I think I said, for then the judge to decide what would happen. And she may or may not go home that night, right? Correct. And you felt the need to tell her that, that that would happen if she didn't give you an ID, right? Yes, I, I guess I said that. And again, the lawful basis to demand her ID was what? So that we knew who she was. Anybody you want to know who they are, you get to demand their ID and threaten to bring them to bond court if they don't give it to you in handcuffs? Is that the law? She was outside videoing, which is something unusual, which is the reason why a uh, supervisor was called to go outside to find out that. That's the reason why. Did you hear my question? Yes. What was my question? Your question was, I can't give it to you exactly. I'm not. I'll tell you what the question was. Okay. I asked you if you get to detain anybody who refuses to identify themselves to you, 
and threaten them that you will bring them to bond court and handcuffs if they don't identify themselves. So the question is? Do you get to do that to anybody that you want as an officer of the law? I guess I'm sorry, I'm not understanding the question. Are you asking if I can just stop anybody that I want and arrest them? So that would be no? Are you allowed to stop anybody you want, ask them for ID, and if they refuse it to you, refuse to give it to you, detain them and bring them to a judge where they'll have bond court and may or may not go home tonight? Do you get to do that anybody, to anybody that you want? Who is acting? unusual and suspicious let's start with the right let's start with my question anybody do you get to do that to just anybody you want yes or no I don't know well I mean the answer is obviously no right I'm gonna stick with I don't know okay you think that there's a possibility you get to just go over to anybody on the street and demand ID and if they don't give it to you you can detain them not just anybody no Okay, thank you. So we're on the same page. All right, guys, thanks for checking out part two of the deposition of the sergeant. If you missed part one, the deposition of the lieutenant, which, trust me, guys, is much worse than this. You're not going to believe your eyes and ears. Go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. And definitely go check out Pink Camera Magic on her YouTube channel. She's freaking awesome. And tell her Anthony X sent you. Moving forward, thanks for watching. Definitely go check out my new merch store. Make sure to leave that comment. Help show support by sharing this video. And we'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah. And no bootlicking. Peace.